Hey guys, welcome to Safi Max. In this video, you will learn how to produce tables in a LaTeX document. So let's see how we can do this. You see here, I uh, you see here, I'm working in the document, and no special package is needed for producing table inside the document. The default of the document class article is sufficient for getting the job done. So let's move. How can we produce? table you see over here I have already written a comma I have already produced the table which is produced under the table environment so I put begin table and end table the edge inside this argument asks logic to put the table exactly at the position where it is produced inside the document and within the table document I again produce the tabular environment so this tabular environment in fact process the table inside the in, inside the in, inside the argument of the tabular i'm putting three c's where each c defines a column so three c's mean the table would consist of three columns then i put cell one which produces the entry in the first cell of the first column and first row and similarly cell 2 cell th and cell 3 which are separated by putting an m person so the m person separate the cells of this row then i add two backslashes these backslashes end the line and therefore produce another row and the second row i again carry the same procedure and then produce a new line and that is continues this way if I build a document you see a table in the form of three rows in three column is generated however it is to the leftmost side of the uh, document we can shift the position of the table by adding simply a single command after the table one by putting C and T R I in the centering. If I now build a document, it will be shifted to the uh, center of the page. Next, I want to add a caption to the table, and that I can do through the caption command, which is put right after the begin table command. Then the centering, which will put the table at the center, and I want to add lines just and I add double horizontal line through each line command and this produce one line and the second each line produce another line which separate the caption of the table from the rest of its contents and then I add another line at the bottom of the table if I build the document now you will see I have another table which has a caption and double parallel lines uh, double horizontal parallel lines and the line at the bottom of the table. I can further modify this table by adding vertical lines to separate different columns and that I can do by adding vertical lines inside the argument of tabular to separate the CCC. With this change if I build a document you will see the columns are now separated by vertical lines similarly we can add headings to columns as well as rows and that i can do by adding another column which if you look at the argument tabular now i have put four c's where each c defines a column therefore the next table would have four columns in the first row, I have added species, time, velocity, and distance. This new row will make the titles of different columns. In the first column, I have added the names of the different species. So if I build the document, you will see the different titles are now added to the column time, velocity, distance in here inside the species I have cycle, car and trolley. To increase the number of columns you just need to add different C's in the argument of tabular and then 
and an equal number of m percent will separate different cells of a given row and the different rows are generated by putting double by putting double backslashes at the end of each line.